Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Today, let me take you through letter writing, which comes under writing skill. Letter writing has two types. The very first one is formal letter and then the next one is informal letter. Let me take you through letter of inquiry, especially through this video. What is letter of inquiry? When a buyer wishes to get some information about the quantity, price, quality, and availability of goods or about the terms of sale, he writes a letter to the seller known to be an inquiry letter. So here again, an inquiry letter asks for information like catalog, quotation, sample, cost of a product from a seller in a concise and clear way, but is in a very comprehensive and very uh, short way, we can say, very brief one, we can say. Letter of inquiry and its format. What is the format? Again, it has got seven components here. Sender's address, date, receiver's address, salutation, subject, body of the letter, complimentary close. How to go about? Let's move on to the next slide. Question number one. That is letter one, first letter. You're interested in learning short-term computer course. Write a letter to the center head of EduTech, Shivaji Road Nasik, inquiring about the details and duration of the computer courses offered by them. Imagine yourself as Shivangi and Shivaram, who is living at D20, Sangeet Villa, Gandhi Nagar. So the very first thing is sender's address. You don't want to make use of punctuation here. Nowadays, it has become obsolete, which means that outdated one. It's not necessary here. Then leave a line and then go for date. So here, date. This is the format, 24 January 2022. Otherwise, you can write down January 24, comma, 2022. And then the center head, that is receiver's address here. Receiver's address, the center head, Edutech Nasik. And then you need to write down salutation, dear sir or madam. You may put a comma. Then subject, information on uh, short-term computer courses. So what are you inquiring for? You would like to get inquiry on, you would like to get details on short-term computer courses. Then here, again, in this body of the letter, you need to divide it into three paragraphs. So the very first paragraph should talk about you and your requirement, who you are and what is your requirement. So I am writing this letter, start the letter with this one, with this phrase. I am writing this letter to inquire about a computer course at your institute. You can even write an adjective here at your reputed institute, at your well-known institute or renowned institute. Then, I have just passed my higher secondary exam from CBSE curriculum with an average score of 80%. So what have you completed and what is your score? You can write about that. And then, I'm quite keen in taking up a program that is suitable for me. So what are you passionate about for this period of time? I would like to get the following details. So what are all those details? So when you want to join, you would like to know about course content. The very first point, you can write it down in bulletin points, like uh, points, number one, number two, number three, in such a way. So the very first point, course content. Then the next one, duration of the course. How long will the course will go on or on alternate days or the weekend batches whatever it is you can ask for that particular information and then fees for the course what is the uh, course fee how much do they charge for each of the course there and then number of enrollments in each class so only then you'll get to know whether it is in high demand or not then Boarding and lodging facility. If you are from remote area, far away place, if you get to know about boarding and lodging facility, you can stay over there. And then availability of scholarship. If you are really a very good student that is a top scorer, and then in that case, uh, there will be a, a waiving of fee here. That is reduction of fee here. 
and then I request you to send a printed prospectus at your earliest so that I may register for any of the short term courses available at your reputed center. So if only you get to see the prospectus, you'll be having an idea to join either this course or that course, right? And then finally, looking forward to a quick reply. So this is how you have to end up the uh, conclusion part. And then finally, it should be followed by complimentary close yours faithfully and your name and signature yours faithfully when will you be writing yours faithfully even in the previous video i told you if only you do not know a person by his or her name then in that case you will be writing yours faithfully otherwise if you do know a person by his or her name then in that case you will be writing yours sincerely so again the same letter writing the entire format has been given here. Then the next one, second letter. You are organizing a farewell party for your class and you would like to find out the rates for conducting it in one of the leading restaurants. Write a letter inquiring about catering cost per head, service charges and advance to be paid. Invent details by yourself. You are Frederick or Fatima. So here comes the next one. A few words have been given to you so that you can select the right ones for the following exercise. Here is a worksheet for you. So in this worksheet, I have given you uh, sender's address, date and receiver's address, salutation, followed by subject information on catering service and party hall. And uh, today's generation, you do know very well that when you book catering service, they do provide party hall at free of cost so here this is the worksheet for you i frederick or fatima would like to book your dash restaurant for a farewell party we are 300 students from abc international school we would like to have this dash party on february 7 2022 from 6 pm to 9 pm we would dash it if you could send us your rate list of catering charges per head, including service charges, etc. As an dash, I would suggest you to dash food items like noodles, pasta, rice, burger, desserts, fresh juice, as students are from dash background. Please do send us the dash card at the earliest. If any payment is to be made in dash, the same may be intimated. I'm hoping that you would dash me with a about said details and help me to get discounts in dash of a prompt reply to facilitate further so 10 blanks have been given here and 10 words have been given at the top of this slide you need to select the right answer and you need to fill it up here finally you need to go for closing uh, complimentary section right so here yours faithfully and name and if you do get correct answer bingo you'll be getting full marks please type it there in the comment box your answers right and now let me take you through reply letter so far you have seen letter of inquiry and now reply letter for that inquiry so letter three as the center head of yogic beauty, write a reply letter to an individual who inquired about online yoga class. So you're going to write a reply letter for the letter received. So you need to write down your address because you are sending the reply letter, right? The center head, yogic beauty, Nasek, and then followed by date and then receiver's address then salutation subject what it should be your inquiry for online yoga class how to start about a reply letter the very first thing is you need to thank them gratitude is the most loveliest word here is it not we truly appreciate your letter asking for information about our online yoga classes 
the classes will be scheduled for next week the first two days of the session will be introductory classes for 40 minutes from the next five days proper yoga training will get started the session will be continued for 90 days, which will cost 6,000 rupees only, which means that three months here, is it not? If you wish to pay in installments, then you can pay 2,000 every month. Either you can go for EMIs. If you wish to pay in EMIs, then you can pay 2,000 rupees 2,000 every month. For a better experience, you need a properly ventilated room yoga mat and of course a good internet connection so only then you can have a proper online yoga class is that not then finally how to end it up i hope you are satisfied with the above mentioned information if you have any further queries please do not hesitate to contact us so only then uh, the receiver will be really very glad to uh, inquire a lot and even to join your yoga class finally again complimentary close yours faithfully name and your signature right so through this video you people have got to know about letter of inquiry about computer course so for computer course what are all the features you would love to know fee structure, course details, faculty members, whether faculty members are really very intellectual or what they have acquired, what degree they have acquired, If you, how many years of experience, when you get to know about that, you'll be uh, having a good idea about that institution. Then hostel facilities, boarding and lodging, uh, scholarship available or fee waiver, number of students in each class or in each batch, whatever it is. And then you learned about placing an order for a catering service so here price per head you would love to know about price per head and then food menu and then offer if there are uh, if there is a huge number of um, uh, orders then in that case you can get a very good offer then service charges and then reply letter what is necessary here for a, a reply letter start the letter with a thank you the very first thing is you need to be very grateful to them uh, for the question or for the call which you people have received then you must provide the answer to the request whether they are in need of a catalog or brochure or prospectus whatever it is you need to provide the answer and then you should also tell the reader that you are interested in giving extra details if they are in need of extra details about your institution or about your food or about your uh, party hall all these things you you should be willingly do that express a willingness to provide further information again so don't hesitate to give any further information and then you must understand the request accurately so the exact requirement should be understood by you and then your reply must be swift so you need to answer the letter very swiftly and then the response must be not so lengthy again you need to stick to the word limit children so i do believe that your students must have understood letter of inquiry and reply letter thank you students please do like share and subscribe Bye-bye.